So here we are with the gorgeous 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible. It's in this striking infrared paint, $595 extra, by the way. And of course, the top is down because that is its most beautiful setting. Now, there are a number of differences between the coupe and the convertible. Most of them, you'll notice, are around back. From the A-pillars forward, the LC twins are extremely similar. Number one thing is this giant deck lid it has now. There's no longer a floating roof that flows neatly and slowly into the cabin silhouette. Now you have this big flat deck lid that leads into an integrated uh, spoiler out the back here. From the deck lid, we have these gorgeous tail lights. Those have not changed, coupe to convertible. So you sort of look into there, it almost looks like an infinity tail light, as though it just never ends. Really, really cool LED technology there. Lexus actually says that the uh, these almost metallic looking edges here are inspired by Japanese swords. Pretty neat to see. And then down here, we get the loud pipes. You can see that there are proper exhaust pipes hidden inside these fake tips. Um, yeah, the way this car sounds is probably the best thing about it. As a result of this car going from coupe to convertible, we do get the dreaded kick up, unfortunately, uh, very similar to the 911 Cabriolet. I'll say that it's not as bad as the 911. It doesn't have quite the, the hunchback that that car does. Uh, this one looks a bit more natural, but you still do notice it, especially when you're alongside here, that change in height from the door to the, the deck lid is not the most beautiful. Closing in on the wind buffeting, we have this transparent wind blocker here that is uh, supposedly cuts down on the amount of buffeting in the cabin, cuts down on the amount of uh, wind that the passengers feel inside. It's pretty unobtrusive, you don't really notice it. It sort of looks like a uh, looks pretty neat actually it's this clear piece of glass back there from the front as gorgeous as ever like i said exactly the same a pillars forward for the most part i'll point out these new 21 inch forged wheels that save weight over the previous wheels on the car they look pretty nice you have the the black painted innards along with the chrome it's, it's a nice touch along with the the black brake calipers Still get the giant spindle grill. Uh, this is definitely the best application of that grill of any Lexus. It looks proper on this face. Grand Tour car, it can be a little bit shouty. The headlight design, you still have this, this tri headlight fixture in there. Looks fantastic. And then your, uh, your curved and shaped LEDs here just below it. Moving along the side of the car, such such a striking design how it just sort of goes straight here and then kicks right out into the hips and you have these these nice wide hips along with some some good venting down here and then you still have the same flush door handles you press that pops out you get a little lexus logo and then you can hop on in